Bulky One ESP conversion to bulk filter is a project that started uh, way back in 2020. Uh, where it had to be um, conceptualized and uh, finally uh, it, it was executed in, uh, in 2022 because uh, in 2020 or issues around COVID the project was not, uh, will not be executed but finally we were able to start it in 2022 and uh, it was a project that had so many players in it uh, the EPC uh, who is the uh, really camp and then we had some subcontractors, local subcontractors, and also the plant uh, operation readiness team. And the project started in, uh, it was supposed to start in April, but for some reason, it started uh, 19 days earlier. And uh, as usual, we were, we didn't have everything uh, on site, but uh, we took the challenge and we started the project nevertheless. Uh, it was a project that had a lot of works, um, high risk jobs, lifting very heavy um, parts, a lot of electrical installation, and also finally, at the end, we had a lot of uh, work to do with, uh, with lifting ducts, uh, which was also a very, very uh, risky job, uh, doing, uh, looking at the fact that we had to elevate the parts um, at a height of over 70 meters. Uh, what is so, uh, positive about this project is that we were able to complete it with zero incidents in terms of safety. Uh, we did not have anybody injured in this project. We did not have any equipment damage during the project, which is a very big uh, achievement for such a very big project where you're talking about over 500 people on site, coordinating them and making sure that they return home safely. And then finally, the project was also concluded with uh, with all the KPIs achieved. to thank all of our contractors, Daton Engineering, BS, and SECO to support us uh, during this project. And I need to thank everyone who worked in this project to finish this project without any safety violation within the target days. It was really a good achievement for all of us. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to conclude my my talk by giving thanks to all the players, uh, the EPC contractors, Redicam, the local contractors uh, who are responsible for demolition and erection of mechanical works, and also the plant operation readiness team, which was um, headed by the commissioning manager. They really worked so hard to make sure that the bug filter is incorporated uh, into the system of the plant. Uh, it is um, integrated into the, the automation um, uh, footprint of the project of the plant so that by the time it starts it has uh, uh, it does not uh, cause any problems uh, then finally my thanks to the safety team we had uh, safety marshals who are working 24 hours uh, to make sure that everything that is being done follows the correct uh, procedures and nobody uh, gets hurt and everyone goes back home safely.
I want to say a special thank you to both team from Olsim and Radicam Egypt for another project successfully completed in Africa without any accident. And we are very proud of the cooperation and our footprint in the continent that is very important for us. And we are sure that many others will follow. Thank you.